Hi lads, welcome back to the channel. Just gonna do a quick video from home. Um, I'm after getting a few new lures restocked to fill up my box again because I needed it after last week's fishing. So what I'm gonna show you is Rapala Countdowns. Um, really good lure at the moment. X-Rats, Countdown 7s, Countdown 9s, uh, jointed Rapalas, um, all sorts of shape and sizes. Um, I have a load of gravity twitches, some savage gear in my box that work very well on Loch Derg, um, any lakes in Ireland that will work on. Um, I also have Salmo Minnows, Tazzy Devils, Lane Minnows, all sorts of trout lures. So if you're into trout fishing and you like the trolling and casting and spinning for trout, I'm just going to run through it really quickly and uh, just show you the lures that I'm after getting. So stay watching. Right, so that's the first lure I'm going to show you is the Rapala X-Rap 7cm countdown lure. This is the brown trout colour. The brown trout colour when you're fishing for trout generally is very, very good. Um, these trout are very predatory on their own species. Um, it doesn't matter, you get the smaller trout from 30 centimetres up to the larger, obviously up to the ferox trout that will hit these lures. Um, you can fish them in the rivers or any of the Irish locks or any place around the world really. Um, really good hooks in them. They look extremely, extremely good now. That's got little, little red and black spots on them. Um, I also have, where is it? The roach colour, that's the live roach colour. I'm not sure if you can see it, lads. I'm just working what I have here. Um, that's also a seven centimeter live roach color. Um, anyone that fishes for trout on the Irish locks knows that if you're using roach, you have a good chance of getting the big trout. And also have the rainbow trout color of the X-Rap, seven centimeter. Um, it's the very same as the brown trout color, only a little bit of red across the belly, but that seems to trigger them on some days when the other one won't. Um, I'd fish these in all depths of water um, along the shoreline in 10 to 12 foot of water, even shallower. Um, as long as you're just chucking it behind the boat, it'll it'll troll at about six to seven foot when you're going 2.5 to three miles an hour. Um, I'd also troll them out in the middle of the lake, happily troll them all day long. People think I'm mad, but I troll them no bother in 40, 50, 60 foot water. Some days the trout are feeding in that depth of water, and that is just the place to be. So don't be don't be afraid. Um, as you all know, to fish in the deep water for the trout. Um, yeah, I'm just going to show you really quickly the other lures. Right, the next few lures I'm going to show you quickly is the 7 centimeter countdowns. These are the standard countdowns when you're using the Rapalas. These will come from when you're trolling them between 5 to 7 foot. Um, I usually troll them around 3 miles an hour. It's enough. Um, I would be up and down on the revs all day long, kind of twitching them. Um, I picked up the Fire Tiger colour. I haven't used the Fire Tiger colour before um, with the Rapalas. Just to give it a go, I know it's going to get absolutely mullered by a pike, <laughs> just looking at it. But um, it's a little bite-sized snack, always going to be worth giving it a go. Like I said, I always use the natural brown trout colours, and there's a few different variants on them. That's the gold juvenile trout, and yeah, it's the same thing. The, I always stick to the brown trout colours when I'm trolling for trout. They are so predatory on their own species, it's, it is mad. Um, there's another brown trout colour and then there's more of a minnow uh, gilded uh, live variant colour. So I also have two jointed lures. They're seven centimetre rapalas. They're floating, so obviously they'll float to the surface when you're not trolling them. But they will also go down to six, seven foot if you're trolling fast enough. And they have a really, really nice movement in the water, the jointed rapalas. Um, they will be like, as you can imagine, any fish will take them, perch, trout, uh, pike, pike, don't even start, I'd say they will just muller them. But uh, yeah, that's what I have so far, just to show you. Also, you have the elites, the Countdown elites. Um, they are unbelievable. They have a bit more weight than the normal Countdown. If you're casting them, you'll be able to cast them a little bit further. Um, they will troll just a little bit deeper, um, but they have a nice profile. They have a thicker body, a bigger lip. Um, it's just a bit more solid than the normal countdowns but the elites are a little bit more expensive but if you can pick them up in any color especially the brown trout color you know me now um they will absolutely clean just up. before i go lads i'm just going to show you that's the leader i use when i'm trolling for trout it's berkeley trialing 12 pound this stuff is really really strong for a 12 pound line um you'll land most fish like i said i was out last week and pike up to a meter six um, 20 pound pike is nothing for this line. Um, I troll with, usually when I'm trolling for trout, I have 20 pound mono as my main line. Um, I like trolling with mono, it's just how I was raised. But you can use braided line as well, you can use 10, 15 pound braid, it doesn't make a difference. 
um, to a good swivel, tie that onto a good swivel, your, your mono onto your good swivel, and then usually six foot of this, um, you can use less, you can use three foot, it doesn't matter, I just like to get it away from the swivel, between the lure and the swivel when I'm trolling, um, and then you just attach on your lure, um, you can use lure clips, I use the Mustad lure clips, fast attach clips, I actually have them here, that's what I use to attach my clips, on, or my lures onto my line, onto, onto my leader, sorry, um, or you can use Berkeley or anything like that. Any small clip, make sure it's small now because, you know, Trout's vision is very, very good. Um, in my own eyes, that's how I look at it. I have this fella falling out of the box. That's another Elite Countdown. Just more of a yellowy, perchy color. But um, yeah, so there's the Rapalas. I use them a lot on Derg. I also fish a lot of lane minnows, anyone that knows me. Um, but that's a different box altogether. So yeah, I'm just gonna get these in box, thrown into my lure box and uh, I'll be out with them at the weekend to uh, give them, to christen them. So I hope you liked the video. It's just a little bit of an insight into what I use in my box um, for the trout fishing. So leave a like if you watched it this far. I don't know if you did or not, but uh, subscribe to the channel if you're new and uh, I'll catch you out there next time. Thanks.